it was wrong six times. What is the probability of having no one and no three among the rows? What is your answer to three decimal places? Okay, so let's work this out. I'll put all this in a box. Okay. So we have six, a die is rolled six times, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's number them. Number them. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Five, six. Okay, so it says that we should have what is the probability of no ones and no threes? Okay. So let's see, no ones and no threes, let's see, no three, oh wait, let's see if I get my pencil working, okay, no ones, why is it? No threes and no ones. Okay, so it says, what is the probability of us having no ones and no three and no three amongst the rows? So if we were going to work this problem out. The I will use the probability of event formula, and that is the number of favorables <laughs> over the number of possibles. Okay, so the number of favorables would be one, that would be one, two, three, Four, because there's four favorable choices of the six. So we would say four would be the favorable. The number of possible is six, right? Okay. And then we'll put a, the exponent of six up top just because we have um, six events of this happening, okay? So it's four over six. Let's pull out our calculator. And as you can see again, I am using uh, a calculator off the internet. So this is from des.com. And so I'm going to put my parentheses up. I'm gonna say four divided by six, close parentheses, and then we'll do an X, oh, let me take that, okay, I think my exponent decimals in the wrong spot, let me just clear this out, okay, okay, four over six, and then let's do a close parentheses. Okay, and then an exponent of six because there's six possible events. And then this is our answer here, 0 0.0877. And it asks us to round your answer to three decimal places. So we have one, two, three, that would be zero, eight, seven. And we'll round this seven up to an eight because the number afterwards is a seven, which is more than 
um, 5 or above, so we would make this an 8. So the answer would be 0 0.088. That's how you would work that problem.